his head died on the third came back so we can have the opportunity to repent god want to give you peace but you want that prozac you take me at my word that he can return that. back to the devil cause he don't want to hate you either you want to be free or you don't choose jesus christ can make you do like the whole you it's really simple like one plus one is two so hello guys my name is colin skiro welcome to this channel if you're new here you can like you can share and you can subscribe it's been a while we've been missing but it's about time we do another video so we're going to look at uh, i said i'll be answering questions i find in the comment section so a question someone asking are uh, how do you brand a mug so that's what we're going to go through today we're going to see how you brand a mug and all the requirements and all that you need if you want to brand your own mug uh, this is blessed major brands where we create we design we brand for designing a mug you need a sublimation which is a sublimation process that uses a specific sublimation ink when heat is applied it sticks permanently on the mug so you need a first you need a, a printer the printer can be any kind of a printer uh, but you need sublimation ink rather than the normal inkjet ink so you can buy any printer and replace it replace the ink with the sublimation ink so you need a computer you will need a, a printer that has sublimation ink you will need a mug you will need sublimation papers and you need a heat press machine a mug heat press machine or an eight in one printing machine so that those are what you need and those are what you require in order to print so first of all you need uh, to have a design in your computer whichever software you use you'll have to set your design ready that you want to print in your computer so once you have your design you have to make sure that is uh, while you're printing once your design is ready while you're printing it's necessary that you put it in an invited or a mirrored format in such a way that when you put the ink it's going to uh, to appear exactly how your image was but you'll have to place it in a mirrored format what you do next is go to print you can use the adobe acrobat you can use the adobe photoshop you can use the illustrate all these you can use them to print but just make sure that you uh, that your design is in a mirrored format so you remember also you have to know the measurements of the cup you have to take the right measurements that are fitting you can take you can look have a look at the cup you can make your measurements in the tape measure you can make your measurements in the ruler but you'll have to know the exact design i love using illustrator because you can place the exact design that you want or you can use the a4 size sizing everyone knows what an a4 looks like so you can know how to place your print on a specific sizing but it's you can always measure using the illustrator or any other software remember yeah, the ink that you placed in your computer is a sublimation ink so depending on the printer that you have it can produce a high quality it can produce low but all this depends on your settings and the quality of your printer but any compute any printer can work fine press print you can put it in high mode to make sure that the ink is thick it has stuck so you place the sublimation paper on your printer you press print and you get to print the paper so once you've done the printing on the sublimation paper you have to get your heat press ready you can uh, the temperature you can put it in 180 degrees but for about 120 seconds so you set the uh, the heat press remember there are various types of heat presses there is the one designed for the mug but you can get the 18 one which you can use for t-shirts for mugs for plates and all these other things so once your heat press is ready uh, it's set the, to the time that we've said that is you can set it to 120 seconds and 180 degrees so once it's ready all you have to do is you have to strategically place your print that is on the sublimation paper to fit to fit on your cup once you get that sizing 
you go back to place your rent on a specific spot on the cup you can use a thermal tape you can put your print in position once you put your print in position you apply the thermal tape all you have to do is you place your cup inside the heat press and once you place it nicely all you have to do is you apply the heat press wait for the machine to heat it up and to press it for the 120 seconds and once it's done you can let your uh, you can let your cup cool down once it's it's cool and it's it's cooled down you can now remove the, the sublimation paper and voila you have your cup printed and permanent note that this can never come off and it's permanent and it will stay for the lifetime of the cup so that is one of the best methods in which you can brand and have a have your cup branded and enjoy it while it is so it is just an easy process remember all that you need are the ones that we place there those are the necessary things that you need to know and just the basics about printing and just the basics about uh about using softwares like illustrator and adobe photoshop or color draw that was just the basics you can remember this method you can use it on the mugs you can use it on the plates and any other thing that you want to brand using the sublimation method so that's all you need to know uh, i believe this was helpful so you can like you can share you can subscribe i'll play more videos but that's it for today have a blessed time see you next time the devil cause he don't wanna hate you either you wanna be free or you don't choose jesus christ can make you do like the whole you it's really simple like one plus one is two